anything can government do to address any of the things you may have just heard? Well, one of the things that you've just been hearing about is um, concerns about cheap imports. And that's because we haven't had a proper border um, controls since Brexit occurred. And so in respect of our exporters of goods, um, they've been subject to full border controls on goods going into the EU. But EU goods coming into the UK have not been subject to any controls, uh, apart from a very limited number. But the main controls have not been introduced now. Uh, the government delayed introducing those controls on five occasions, but now uh, they have started to be rolled out. Uh, the, the paperwork controls were introduced at the end of January, but the really um, important controls uh, get introduced in April. Now, from a British farmer's point of view, this is good news in the sense that there will be more of a level playing field. But um, these controls um, will require, for example, um, vet check. Um, in Germany, uh, Netherlands, places where a lot of our food comes from, and there's just not enough vets. And so what the real concern is, is that uh, the costs will go up because of the extra controls, which um, EU exporters will have to satisfy. Some may decide it's just not worth the effort when they can sell right across the EU without any of these um, extra controls. Um, and then, of course, for those who do continue to export to the UK, those extra checks and costs will be passed on to customers, which will ultimately be passed on to consumers. And so, um, and the government itself has said there will be food inflation. They say it will be minor, 0.2% over three years. But nevertheless, you can see that if, if supermarkets are desperate not to pass those costs on to consumers, because they know consumers are coming out of the farmers again, that some, they've got to be met somehow. Catherine, indebted to you, Professor Catherine Barnard there. And I just want to go briefly.